What is data governance? You've probably heard the term thrown around, especially in conversations about data quality or compliance. But what does it actually mean? And why should you care? In this video, I'm going to break it down clearly and simply. We'll look at what data governance is, why it matters, who's involved, and how BI analysts play a part in making it work. This is a lesson from my BI Analyst Starter Program, more about that later, but I'm sharing it here on YouTube to help more people understand one of the most important and often overlooked foundations of working with data, whether in BI, analytics, operations, or compliance. Let's jump in. In this lesson, we're looking at data governance, what it is and why it matters. Let's start by talking about what data governance actually is. So data governance is the framework an organization uses to manage its data. It includes the rules, processes, roles, and standards that ensure data is accurate, secure, and used properly. A common analogy for data governance is a shared kitchen. Everyone's allowed to use it, but there are expectations. You label your food, clean up after yourself, and don't touch what doesn't belong to you. Without rules, things get messy fast, and it's exactly the same with data. With governance in place, people know where the data comes from, how to use it, and who's responsible for it. It creates consistency, and that's where the idea of a single source of truth comes from. Instead of five teams using five different versions of the same dataset, everyone agrees on what's official, what's clean, and what's trusted. Without data governance, things break down quickly. You get duplicate data, inconsistent definitions, and reports that don't match. Even worse, sensitive data might be exposed or misused. And when that happens, people stop trusting the data they start relying on gut instinct again. Or they spend hours debating whether the numbers are right instead of actually making decisions. But when governance is done well, everything runs more smoothly. Data is cleaner, reporting is faster, and teams are more aligned. You'll also avoid big compliance headaches. Proper governance helps you meet legal obligations like GDPR, CCPA, and HIPAA and align with important industry standards like SOC 2 and PCI DSS, especially if you're handling sensitive customer or payment data. And if you're working for a publicly traded company, the stakes are even higher. They need reliable data for investor reporting, audits and regulatory filings. Mistakes in these areas can damage credibility, affect stock prices and even result in legal action so you can see how important it all is. Whether you're in a startup or a large enterprise, governance makes your work as a BI analyst easier and safer. One of the biggest misconceptions is that data governance is just an IT thing. In reality, it involves people across different parts of the business, not just IT, but also operations, compliance, and individual teams that use or manage data. You have data owners, usually department leads, who are responsible for making sure data is accurate and useful within their department. Data stewards are the ones keeping the data in good shape, checking for errors, cleaning up inconsistencies, and making sure standards are followed. Then there's the IT and security side, managing systems, permissions, and backups to keep everything secure and running smoothly. As a BI analyst, you're often right in the middle. You're the one using the data daily, spotting quality issues, noticing when two reports don't match, or when something feels off. Let me give you an example. Say you're building a dashboard for marketing, and you notice that the customer definition varies between sales and support. One team includes trial users, the other doesn't. Flagging that and helping get alignment, that's part of governance. You don't need to be a policy writer. No one's expecting you to draft formal documentation or define company-wide standards. But understanding what governance is and how your work connects to it helps you avoid mistakes, catch inconsistencies, and build trust in your reporting. You are a key player in making sure the data is reliable and usable. 
there are a few core building blocks you'll see in most governance frameworks. First is data definitions. You need to agree on what common terms mean. A customer, a conversion, a return. These all need to be clearly defined and documented. Next are policies. These set the rules around how data should be stored, access, shared and archived. Some of this is legal, like how long you retain personal data. Other parts are operational, like who's allowed to edit or delete records. Then there's the data catalogue. This is like a map of your data landscape. It helps people know what data exists, where it lives, what it's used for, and who to talk to if they have questions. Access control is another big one. Not everyone should have access to everything. Governance helps define roles and permissions, so sensitive or business critical data is protected. And lastly, auditing and monitoring. This is about keeping logs of changes, spotting anomalies, and being able to trace back who did what. I and mean, it's not about policing people, it's about being able to investigate issues when they come up. All of these elements together create a system that ensures data can be trusted, reused and scaled. Of course, most organisations don't have all of this in place right away. As a BI analyst, the important thing is knowing what good governance looks like, so you can help move things in that direction bit by bit. Just jumping in here quickly to say that if you're finding this helpful, this is just one of the lessons from my full BI Analyst Starter Program. The program is designed to teach you everything you need from the ground up to land your first role as a BI Analyst. Excel, SQL, BI tools, real world projects, data modeling, warehouses and more, like this lesson on governance. All this plus you'll complete the program with a best in class BI Analyst project portfolio to help you land your first job. The program is constantly evolving and growing, and when you enrol, you get lifetime access, including all future updates. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. OK, back to the video. If the company you work for has no formal governance in place, you can still make a real difference. You can start by focusing on one or two key data sets, something important like customer data or sales transactions. Talk to the people who use it and the people who own it. Ask questions like, what does this field mean? Are there any known issues? Who updates this? From there, you can begin to clean up obvious problems, like duplicate entries, inconsistent naming, or missing values. Then write down what you've learned and share it. Even if it's just in a shared Google Doc or an internal wiki page, that's the start of a data catalog. If you can, suggest setting up access rules who needs edit access, who needs only to view, and who maybe shouldn't have access at all. These small steps can help build a culture of accountability and make it easier for the next person who works with the data. So that's data governance and why it's so important for BI analysts. It's not about creating red tape, it's about building trust, reducing confusion, and making sure everyone's working from the same page. When governance is working, your dashboards are clearer, your reports are consistent, and your stakeholders can actually make decisions instead of debating the numbers. If you want to keep learning and build the skills to become a BI Analyst, please do check out the full BI Analyst Starter Program, link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.